Hello pilots, I'm Major Payne and this is training episode about personal score and how to make a good one in a game. I record two battles in a row in different tiers during the event where you can see how it's done on different planes, so it's going to be very interesting. Let's get into it. Currently in a game we have event which is repeating itself from time to time in World of War planes. Uh, it's in this stage, uh, we was gaining a personal score and top 40 places have this very nice reward and special achievement medal. So if you like get one of these, uh, this video is going to be very helpful. Now, first thing first, you need to focus on your score, personal score. Forget, forget about winning the game, unfortunately. These two things not working together, so you need to be absolutely focused on your personal score and nothing else. I was playing this game... Um, that way on my own and I managed to pull out over 70% of win rate, uh, no flight, uh, many players in the game, not overpowered playing, so it's very uh, good result anyway. So I wouldn't be worried about win percentage here, I, but if you aiming for this good personal results, uh, record kind of things, then you need to focus on specific things which I'm going to get through that now with you. So first thing is pretty basic. You need to have best possible equipment on your plane. And I mean experimental equipment and fully calibrated. That's make a lot of difference. That's uh, There is no cheap way to do it. Uh, you need to gain every possible equipment you have and put into your best plane. I'm not saying it's not possible if you don't do that. I have like my XF90 wasn't even fully calibrated. Uh, my equipment wasn't calibrated. I didn't even, uh, you know, actually I didn't even had the XF90 when I when this event started. I was on tier eight pancake. Uh, I was grinding that, then tier nine, and then I had XF90. So um, I still don't have that calibrated, and of course I don't have all this equipment. Uh, experimental but I'm saying that this is important and that helps a lot now second thing is your pilot uh, like I know the guys who's doing that amazing results they have literally like 15 skilled pilots uh, and skills like resilience or adrenaline rush are helping a lot so keep that on mind 
Thirteenth is very you can make you may say it's funny or obvious, but it's important. You need to be rest. You need to be in the best possible performance of your body. So literally, you need to have a good sleep. You need to wake up, you know, be fresh and ready to do the best results. You can't be tired uh, in the evening. That literally affect your gameplay. No question about that. Uh, so it sounds like funny and not important, but it is important. Your performance uh, matters. Another thing is control the engagement. So basically, uh, that means that in battle you need to be fully aware of what's going on, how many sectors have a many, how many sectors have enemy, how many sectors have your team. Um, so what's going on? Which sector is going to be in a moment in enemy hands and so on? You are reaching the point that you may get domination on enemy. That's no good. You need to slow down. I mean, slow down, not to sit down and do nothing but you just kill the enemies, but not over the sector. So basically trying to move close to the rest point, for example, and kill the enemy bots. So that allows enemy team players to cap the sectors. And you need that control this. You need to control this engagement. So neither of the team will get air domination because you need the time duration of this battle to be long enough for you to do this result. So that's why this controlling the battle is so important. It's very difficult. It's absolutely a nightmare. It's absolutely difficult. But you need this and in time with practice you'll be good at it and uh, you will see that you can control, you have some impact to this control uh, over the battle. You can speed up the process or slow down the process. You can allow the enemy to gain some sectors. So that's why I said it in the beginning that uh, don't care about winning but yeah, because of that kind of gameplay create this uh, risk that you may lose more often. So unfortunately, um, but it's not that big problem. As I mentioned, you're still going to have amazing uh, win percentage if you're playing so well. Um, now, another thing is you need to pick up the right good plane. And between the light fighters, there's uh, many good fighters, but light fighters have a problem. So they need to have the right map. So that the best one will be a map with airbase in the middle. Uh, so you can occupy this airbase and keep killing bots and enemies, whoever is coming into the sector or nearby. Because the light fighters is not going to do this result if they if they are you know factories um, and some distance between the sectors. You know that that's going to be very difficult. It's possible, but it's very very difficult then. So at tier 10, the Messerschmitt, in my opinion, would be the best um, because it's firepower and speed. And you need those two to move quickly from one enemy to another enemy. You don't need that much maneuverability. You just need to have a huge firepower so you can delete uh, bots and enemies at one pass and do it so quickly and you go for another one, another one. And that's how you can do this amazing results. Um, so yeah, Messerschmitt in, at, at tier 10, Light Fighters. If you're flying a bomber, for example, it's quite similar. You need to focus on uh, capturing sectors as quick as possible, like in case of factory, for example, but not always. Sometimes if you have a time, then you may need to focus on gaining as much as possible personal points from this particular sector. Yeah. So I was making a training video about bombers that uh, can show you how to make 240 capture points from one factory. Uh, so if you have time and there is no other teammates or enemy uh, bombers in the sector, you can focus on that and take in this sector with maximum uh, personal score possible. Yeah. Um, if you need to use consumables, then use the consumables. Uh, everything's matter. Um, of course, sometimes you need to also fight with your own team. Um, like to win the game, the best way is not to go the same sector where your teammates go in a bomber, another bomber, let's say, yeah? So you should spread, you should go to the right, your teammate in a bomber, go to the left. But sometimes if you aiming for this personal score, you need to go to the same sector, to the, for example, factory, yeah? And, and you just need to speed up, you just need to be ahead of your team and take the capture points for yourself. Um, the capture points, of course, give you the personal points and so on. Um, so this is how 
you need to be focused, completely change your mindset. You just need to change your mindset to farm the personal score only. And you're just looking for those, uh, where, where can I get most of these personal points? And then you, you go there then. Now in this video, I'm mainly gonna focus on heavy fighters. Uh, I'm doing this results in heavy fighter because that's my main choice for the event. And I was recording the battles in heavy. Um, so in a heavy, if you want to go and make this 30,000 per points, yeah, uh, I'm not going after bombers, I'm not going after ground attackers, I need to focus on multi role fighters and light fighters, specifically bots, not the players, so I can kill them quickly and go for another one, uh, and another one, and so on. I'm not paying attention uh, where do I kill them, over the sector or not, I just need to kill them as quick as possible. This is like the race and make as many kills as possible so that's why I'm saying this is uh, not playing for the win it's playing for the result and that's why very it's very hard for me to change my mindset for this uh, kind of gameplay few more things here uh, if you're aiming for this amazing result the amount of players in a game is important if you have such a game where it's like seven players against seven players um, then this is next to impossible to do over 30,000 personal points. I best I did is over 20,000 personal points in that kind of battles. But maybe, of course, the like winner of this part of event, Goster, uh, which is without a doubt amazing player, maybe he can pull out such a result with the amount of players we have in a server during the day. Um, yeah, but another thing is modifications. So uh, for this video and for this event, uh, on that account, I use cloud remove modification. And I have to say, this is a huge advantage. I can see clearly where the enemy is going, where is he going to turn, I see the plane roll left or right, so I don't have this delay, I can straight away aim correctly, um, so it's it's a big help, and it's a big different, um, so I, I, I can say I can test it basically, because uh, I, can, I can feel the difference, uh, specifically of course on those maps where there's a lot of clouds, so that helps a lot. Um, but I'm against this modification, so I've always been, and uh, just, but just because I'm against it, that makes no difference, and people will be using it because it's available to everyone on World of Warplanes forum. Um, yeah. And coming back to the win percentage for a moment, so Goster, the winner of this part of event, uh, amazing player. I saw him playing at my time, like three o'clock at night after the server restart. So for me, it's uh, middle of the night. Uh, it's just very hard for me to play at this time. Uh, it's it's a very good time to play because there's uh, only few players in the game. Uh, but for Goster, that just may be a morning because let's say, for example, if he is near Moscow somewhere, that's like four hours different. So for him, that could be a early morning. Um, so. That's all matter and what time you play, how many players is in a game. And I learned that uh, from him that he basically have like 90% of win rate during this event. And I saw him playing in a flight. So if you have teammate who can fly with you in a, in a flight at very late hours, that's a, that helps a lot to keep your win percentage. Um, and a, a lot of benefits like uh, this guy can control the battle for you. You don't have to control the engagement. You, you know, he can make sure that you're not gonna win. Not to, like he's gonna control this battle, and you're not gonna win too soon. Like, uh, and you just can focus on farming those bots and easy targets. Yeah, uh, make these results. So flight in a bomber would be perfect. And if you think that the, to be in the first place in such an event acquire you to spend more time than everyone else in, in this game. That's not completely true. Uh, the winner here is the guy who is literally one of the best players, definitely. Uh, so Goster have like 200 battles during this event and he outclass everyone because he plays so well. And uh, like for me, it's I, I have over 300 battles, a little bit over 300 battles and, and, and uh, Captain Luftwaffe on third place also have like over 300 battles. So. You see, uh, he outclass everyone because he's playing so well. Uh, he making so many of these um, personal life points. He literally have like uh, average uh, twenty two kills per battle. Can you fucking imagine that? This this is amazing. So without a doubt, he's a, he have to be a good player, excellent marksman. 
And so congratulations for Goster uh, for an ama amazing gameplay and amazing result. Okay, now it's the time to show you those two battles. I recorded uh, them in a row, like uh, during this event. They're not the best one. I, I didn't make like over 30,000 personal life points. I had that kind of battles, but I didn't record them. And you know that replays in World of Warplanes are shite. So I prefer to show you those recorded battles uh, because I knew that I'm going to make this video. So I turn on recording um, during this uh, event uh, for two battles. And that's the result of it. It's not the best, uh, but still it's good results, uh, but I still make mistakes, I'm going after some bombers or targets which I shouldn't go, but it's, it's general that's going to give you an idea how to, how to do these results and how to make them. Uh, and there's two different planes, tier 8 heavy fighter pancake now, and then is a heavy fighter tier 10 American XF90, so not, not premium ones, just tech tree, so enjoy watching, I'm gonna uh, come back to you in the end of the video. So last thing here I want to add, the internet connection needs to be good, not like my one with phone, uh, so you can have also often lags which not helping in this. And of course your PC needs to be good enough not to have those FPS drops which are not, not helping definitely. Um, yeah, so here is a pancake and uh, enjoy watching, I come back to you after the two battles.
Okay, guys, uh, that's it. That's the result. So I'm not definitely the expert in it. Uh, I'm working on it still. So, but I have some clue what helps, what not. And I hope you guys guys found it useful, and that's gonna help you to increase your personal rating. So. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and see you next one. Take care, guys.